Hello again, this is a walkthrough of this particular perceptual map template which is designed for us to have a look at a lot of maps very quickly. Uh, the link to download it is in the description. So basically when you uh, download it and open it, this is how it looks. And basically follow the steps in yellow, only enter data in the blue cells. So we go here and we call it whatever you like. I've already typed in my map. And then you go, okay, what are the attributes? So as we know, uh, running across, running up and down on a perceptual map. And this one, we're looking up to 10 attributes. Obviously, we can't look at all 10 in one single map, but we're just going to have the data ready so we can just flick through maps very, very quickly. And as we know, we have opposites. Uh, wide choice, limited choice, good for socializing, that good, not good, etc. So these should be... Uh, uh, quite distinctive labels and then again in the blue you just type over the top of them I've set some data up and then you come down to step three and you, you call your brands whatever you want to call them so you put their names in or a short name if you've got lots of brands to go onto the map and then basically you just come across and enter the data uh, again I've already set it up for this purpose uh, Ideally, we need data in a 1 to 9 scale uh, because the map's been configured that way. If your data is not in that regards, not set up that way, I've provided something over here uh, that converts your data. So say your data is in a 1 to 5 scale, you just go simply through and go, OK, uh, the 5 and 3 and 1. And as you can see, it's automatically adjusted it to a, a 9 to nine to one scale and you can then just copy and paste it back over here so your data will conform. So once we've done that we are set to go. So the, the uh, it takes up to 25 frames down here and 10 attributes. And once we've done that we, we come across. Okay so we come across to uh, basically the map and there's some data there already. Uh, what do we want to look at? 9 and 10 has been set up. So Convenient, inconvenient, great service, poor service. And we can see straight away the maps down here that these players are already mapped out. Each time I change one of these numbers, the map changes. Now I'm looking at 1 and 10. Number 1 over here is good for teens, not good for teens. It gives us a clue here what we are. Okay, what if I want to look at 2 and 10? How about 2 and 7? Over here I have a very quick uh, summary map which is not labeled like our true map, but it just allows me to go, oh gee, that's interesting. Okay, this is a map worth keeping. I will copy and paste this into PowerPoint or my report, whatever. So basically we just go through and, and uh, have a look at a whole range of, of attributes very, very quickly. Uh, if we accidentally put the same number in, uh, you'll get a correlation so you say, okay, that's like, like a mistake there. And we come back over here. Okay, uh, that's step five. That's probably as far as you want to go. If you uh, want to get a bit fancy and say, look, I'm not really interested in company C, I'm going to take them out. And as you can see, uh, now we only have four companies. We have five. If I take all of uh, another two out, I've only got two left. So we can decide what goes in, what goes out. And I might say, I want this one to be really big and this one to be small. That's an optional step as, as well. And as you can see, that might be our company down here, and that's our competitor. And uh, basically, that, that's how it works. It's available on this site. Go here or, or uh, to download it.